What's going on? What's this up? Is, this is episode one of the Goggle Bros. As you can see, I'm Goggle Bro Kyle and Goggle Bro Clark. We are going to have a, a little conversation about um, over officiating and give our opinions on it and have a little bit of a conversation with you guys. So we're looking forward to it. Do you have anything you want to say off the start, just to get the yeah? I'm gonna you know I'm gonna kind of lead in. This is a, a, a topic near and dear to my heart. I'm I'm really happy that you thought about this because I have been disqualified so many times by I feel like maybe an overzealous official. Sometimes it That's was fair. actually my own father at Swim Meets who disqualified me <laughs> for things that I was just like I'm in know, the it's same. It's not that big of a deal. Like going yeah. past vertical, like you said on your back to breast turn. I mean. How much is that really going to make you faster? Or at like 96 trials when Christine Quanch Julian touched like this. Right. And no, I mean, she it's... didn't make the Olympic team because they disqualified her. Right. And obviously we want to get your opinion too, so leave a comment down below. Um, and we'll, we'll try to talk about all of them. Or if we get zero comments, then we'll just have a conversation between the two of us and you guys can enjoy listening in. Um, but basically we just wanted to take a minute to talk about um, our sport and really sports in general and see if or what you guys think about, you know, how, you know, aggressively we're disqualifying people and if it's really more about, you know, how many DQs we can write up and not so much about how fast we're going and Speaking racing tickets. anymore. Exactly. <laughs> it's like, what's my, what's my quota for this event? Um, so let's, let's just go ahead and jump into our first topic. Uh, we already talked about what over-officiating is and I guess we can talk about it a little bit, like, how does over-officiating hurt, you know, actually being a sport um, and the real, you know, ideology behind sport? Yeah, I mean, and, and one thing that just popped in my head, too, which I think is, like a, is a big deal, is, is the, uh, just got to make sure you're not fogging. Yeah, this, it's, this, is, this is our, our first goggle, right? goggle bro episode. Like, what's yeah. the point of, in, you know, incorporating a rule like that into the sport? I, I don't know. I mean, I think part of what get, gets us faster and what makes us better is pushing the envelope, taking some more risk. You know, doing some yeah. dangerous things in the water that maybe haven't Absolutely. been done by the same guys in the 1950s, 60s, 70s, 80s. Yeah, and I why, mean, why not let it slide? I just think it's a bit aggressive to disqualify someone for kicking underwater on their back on freestyle. Yeah. Freestyle is literally the stroke where you're supposed to be able to do whatever you want. Yeah. Um, and I understand the, the ruling um, and how it's written in the rule book, but how about we just tear that page out? And just allow somebody to be in it, like they did in yeah. breaststroke in the in the pullout. I mean, after Kitajima took the dolphin exactly. kicks, or you know, took the dolphin kicks in the 2004 games, Fina made a rule where you could take one, and exactly. uh, it just changed everything. It was like nobody was really, you know, looking if your feet moved a couple inches on the pullout. So, right, as opposed to you know, and this is another thing we can get into later is you know now we have like instant replay where we can look at people underwater yep. and see on breaststroke, you know. Oh, was that an undulation when they're not supposed to have an undulation? Yeah. Um, but this is a controversy. Up, and yeah, and I mean, it's the same thing in baseball and football now. You know, what even is a catch in football? Are yeah. we really <laughs> playing football or are we just seeing who can review plays better? Yep. Um, and, you know, it's starting to be a, well, who has an issue. Who gloves. Exactly. Um, you know, and then you mentioned earlier stuff about, you know, logos. Um, why is it such a big deal if your logo is more than two and a half inches yeah. in your swim cap. Just like, yeah, the idea of, of maybe um, making rules and setting regulations in our sport might, you know, permeate through the entire sport, not just be in, um, you know, technique stuff, but also in, like, the rules and regulations as far as, like, like you said, the, the logos or, right. I don't know, the particular events that we allow or don't allow in, in the Olympic Games that maybe we're just young, Kyle, and naive. Maybe, um, and maybe we're just trying to hold on to what the what the sport actually was brought about to be. You know, it's more about racing and not about you know whether or not the official standing over your lane was having a bad day and decided that your .02 second differentiating hand touch was good for him today or not. Yeah, and like, and let's be honest, does that really change your time? No, not. I like mean, maybe this does. Yeah. But so this, this, and that's. That's the other point that we wanted to get into was, you know, there's a difference between, um, you know, being disqualified for something that just doesn't really matter and over or not over officiating and, um, and just blatantly cheating. Um, no, nah, these are, these are right side up. Danny, get out of here, dude. Danny Conforti, a legend. Um, 
course, I, I, told, I let him know. I said you're all set up. You've been, he's been, Danny, he's been trying yeah, these golf right. time for the past 30 minutes. I have. Just, he knew that he was going to These are these smallest. are fresh specs. I bought these just for our our first show, episode one of the Goggle Bros. Um, but I mean, there's a there's a difference I have no between. Idea, to be honest, this one is. There's a difference between um, cheating and being disqualified for something that doesn't matter. You know. God, my eyes hurt. I know this is really difficult. I think we. We underestimated how hard it is to do a live it's show. It's, it's a it's a humid heat here in Austin, Texas. <laughs> With goggles um, on. Yeah, it's hot. Um, but you know, cheating is doing seven dolphin kicks on an underwater pullout. Yeah. Um, I don't believe that you know doing an accidental staggered touch on breaststroke is cheating. I agree, and I mean the only reason I can think for such strict rules is just because give people an inch, they take a mile just like the one dolphin kick in the breaststroke pull out and then all yeah. of a sudden we had people diving in I won't say any names but you know taking three and then as soon as the you know the bubbles cleared they'd take their one and, and the officials couldn't see it so that would be my only rebuttal but I mean I agree it's the your your worst uh worst swim meet fate is to have a disgruntled stroke and turn judge yeah I mean that's that's completely fair and then like in addition to you know we've talked a lot about the, the staggered touch on a breaststroke or a butterfly but what about you know not being completely still on the starting block. Yeah, I mean, you have some people that are going to try to guess it, but I really don't think anybody does that anymore. No. I and mean, sometimes you just flinch because you're nervous. And how often does flinching affect someone that's three people over from you, or even honestly right next to you? It doesn't I, affect, I I've you never noticed. Slower. Yeah, I've never noticed a single person in my heat flinch. <laughs> I don't know a single person that I've raced that has been disqualified because I honestly could care less what's going on in the lanes next to me, which is, I think, kind of how it should be. Um, but at the same time, say, boarding from a dumpster near the <laughs> airport. <laughs> I don't believe so. Let's ask John, John here, why don't you go ahead and post the name of, of who you would think would take the most dolphin kicks off a start in a 50 breaststroke, if you had to guess. Yeah, let's, let's get some conversation going. Um, do you think that... I personally think I'd take the most right now at this juncture in my life. I might take 15. At this point, I'd, I'd, I actually one time dove in for a 100 breaststroke and took about seven dolphin <laughs> kicks because I forgot what race it was. I was probably like 13 or 14. Fast. I think it DQ'd. Oh, wow. Yeah. So that's a, a, a classic example of under-officiating. Yeah, so there's under-officiating and over-officiating, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, you under got to find those guys yeah. that are right in the middle. Yeah, you got to find some guys that think it's not that big of a deal if you roll over a touch past the vertical going like, from back to breast. Like just crazy stuff like what constitutes a false start on a relay when they have exchange pads. It's like you can be yeah, within I, like negative point zero nine or something. Yeah and you have to have like, dual, I don't know, where did dual that, confirmation where did that from two from? officials. Um, I, I have no idea. How about we just make it so that you have to touch the wall and, and tag your partner's hand before you jump in. That'd be kind of cool. That, I would watch that race. Oh my god my eyes my socks. This is pretty tough. What do you guys think about the background music, though? Yeah, we've got some smooth rock going on behind us for episode one of the Goggle Bros. Bros. The Goggle Bros. Um, it's pretty warm out here. Yeah. My vision's getting a little blurry. I think I'm Same just kind of talking now. Yeah, it might. Uh, this might be the end. This, this might, might be, be it. Unless anybody has any any input, toss it in the comment section. We've got we've got 20 plus people here. I'm sure one of you has an opinion on. On a moment that you got DQ'd and you don't think you Pass should have gotten DQ'd. vertical DQ back to breast got me at nationals. It's ridiculous. Stone, I totally agree. I think that's obscene. Um, remember here when I was disqualified for a phantom scissor kick in our 200 breast stroke? Agree. I completely agree with that. You saved me. Um, oh, are you? Where are those coming from? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the other thing, like, there's some meets like juniors um, where sometimes just like heaps of people are getting DQ'd. You couldn't do it anymore. No, you couldn't. <laughs> well, it's only yeah. Goggle Bro now. Goggle yeah, um, Bro's are back. But, I mean, I feel like it, it kind of varies, and maybe this is something that's that's spoken about in yeah. the officiating world. Um, it'd be great to get a, an official on the show next week for Goggle Bro's episode two. But in, um, in no race is it more um, evident where there's over officiating when you just see lanes one and eight being DQ'd over and over in breaststroke meets. Yeah. It's because they're standing over top of the lane watching you do like a slight dolphin kick. And yeah. again, there's a difference between cheating and getting disqualified. Yep. Cheating is when you're doing an aggressive downward dolphin kick at the end of your breaststroke, or you're taking 
six dolphin kicks on an underwater pullout, or you're leaving the block seven seconds early before the race starts. Yeah. That's pretty aggressive. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. But, I mean, I just remember, like, I still remember at juniors one year being terrified before my 400 IM because so many people in the heats in front of me were getting DQ'd. And at one, what point does it become, I'm just swimming my race trying to not get disqualified, and I'm not thinking about racing. And that's pretty that's, much every time I did an IM, it was like that. Well, and that's the thing about specifically the IM fly and breaststroke to me because there's so many contingencies surrounding what you're doing inside the water, and you know it's starting to blur the interest in actually racing. Yeah. Um, and so, at what if point does it become a race? Yeah. Oh, what's up, Shane? Delay initiating turn on back is silly. I, agree I completely agree with that. I got disqualified at tags here one time. I was so excited. I was leading off our relay. We only had two relays. I wasn't that good back in the day. Um, and I DQ'd our first relay for an, an incontinuous backstroke flip turn, which I think is absolutely Wait, that's absurd. What I, that's what Pearsall got disqualified. That's when you roll over right? and you and kick a couple of times, and then they say, yeah. no, you can't do that for who knows what reason. I have absolutely zero idea. Thank you for bringing that up, Adam. That uh, makes the, absolutely the no sense. Swimming, the rule book of swimming is similar to that of golf. You ever read a, a golf rule book? It's, no, uh, it's absolutely not. It's very nitpicky. Uh, I, would, I would assume so. Yeah. Um, uh, what, let's, see. let's see what else we got on the, on the agenda. All right, so let's let's jump into sort of like the final final verdict here. Um, do you think that um, over officiating is a thing? Do you think we're being too strict? And do you think that we need to maybe look at where the sport is headed, um, and really sports in general with like baseball, football, you know, reviewing catches and like toe drags and stuff like that, and say, hey, maybe we should let a few things go, and maybe. Maybe we should, you know, focus a bit more on who's cheating and who. Well, it's like, yes, athletes you'd want to say yes, but but my only, again, my only argument is like, well, it's kind of twofold. One is like, it's nice to make. Well, I guess we're not really making it objective for all these reviews, but it's pretty cool to have all that footage on the reviews, right? And right. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Cams and stuff. I think it adds a lot to the production value on TV and, and whatnot. But I mean, I don't really know if that's going to be as good in swimming as it is in football or basketball or baseball. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I don't know. I would say like at a kid kids level like let it slide maybe at the top level we can over officiate a bit but the kids level yeah. let them do the thing Ooh. all right no this is this makes beyond complete sense from mike here um it i mean yeah that's a good it point. does paint an incredible picture you've got <laughs> you know at the national level starting at junior nationals right Everybody has their own personal two officials. Yeah. I've never had two people assigned to me to do anything in my entire life besides when I was swimming a 400 IM long course at Junior Nationals. And then on top of that, if you're in lane eight, you've got another guy standing right next to you. So you've got three people watching you, literally looking yep. to make sure, on each side. or not even to make sure that you don't do anything wrong, looking to see if you do anything wrong so that they can fill out a form and then they really do ruin overdo. your life. They do overdo it, I'll tell you right? that much. No, I mean, it's an incredible point. Um, or yeah, 22 athletes and five officials. Baseball, you've got yeah, 13 people and three or four of them. And then in baseball, sometimes you know you let a call go because it's a part of the game. Yeah. Um, and I I don't think that in baseball they allow cheating either. Yeah. There's been some calls that have been let go though in swimming, but it's, sometimes it's like the the ones that are really cheating. Yeah. Don't get caught. Yeah. And I. That just leads me to probably, we'll, we'll make this our last point, um, unless anybody has anything else to say. But um, for breaststroke, do you think there'll be a point? Like, what if, what do they do if they keep experiencing people taking six dolphin kicks off the dive and two dolphin kicks off each turn just sneaking it in there? Do we go to a 15-meter rule, or do we go back to zero dolphin kicks and a zero-tolerance policy for that sort of stuff? I just think they put in an underwater camera. I know you're not gonna like that. Sensors, because I I love when you go past sensors. 15 off the off the start and breaststroke. Yeah. But yeah, that's a good question. question. All righty. Well, this is episode one of the Goggle Bros. We're overheating out here, so probably the next time we do this, we'll be in an indoor location. Um, if we're lucky. 
if we're lucky. Yeah, if you're watching this after we've gone live or you're watching it right now, comment down below and let us know what we should talk about next time. Uh, no topic is, what is it, like, off, no off top, limits? No topic off limits. No topic off limits here. Well, um, no, within reasonable, yeah, within a reasonable we're not range. saying that we're going to talk about it's your topic. It's got to be swimming just, related. Just throw a topic out there and see if you come up in the area where it says, does over-officiating hurt our sport, question mark. Goggle Bros episode two. Thanks for joining us. We're out. Here. What a catch. Thank you, sir. That's all. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for having a conversation.